Igor, my daughter, is alone at home. Let's get to the point, please. I believe she's already asleep. And your house is locked. Don't worry. I root for Artem. I really do. He is a wonderful artist. Svetlana, you're one of a kind. An amazing young woman with a bright future ahead who should be asking for things for yourself. And you spend your evening asking for someone else. That's really nice. It's unique. Is he family? Or not family yet? Not really. Bovenko is a really great actor. I already know that. Mom. Mom. Let's dance together. Dance. Here? No, I'm not good at it. I don't know how to dance. Stop it. You and I. And put on a show. Let's dance. Okay? Sorry. You have a marvelous figure. You look... 20... 8. No, I'm 32. That's a nice age. With beauty and experience. Thanks. Svetlana. Yes. I really want to kiss you. Oh, no, no. I can't help myself. It just feels right. You're too pretty. Stop it. This dance is over. Yes? Yes. But I can still hear music. Well, I can't hear it. My daughter called me. Okay, I gotta go. What about our business talk? Let me call a taxi. No, no, what are you doing? I'll take you. <laughs> I'm sorry. In my defense, we're in a similar situation. We're single, free, available, but also very, very lonely. Get it? I guess. Promise? Yes, I promise. It'll get better. And guess what? What? I promise to think about Bovenko. Great, thanks. I'm doing this for you. Thanks. I hope you'll give me a chance to redeem myself. We'll see. Think about it, please. I will, goodbye. This girl is a tough cookie. 
Sverdlovkoyeva. Sweetie, aren't you asleep? Mom, I woke up and you were gone. I promise you this won't happen again. Hello? Oh, hello. Is that all you can say right now? You look good. But you don't look good at all. What happened yesterday? You let me down. Well, sorry. Yes? You already apologized twice. You're in front of the TV. I can't see it. Are you kidding me? Explain to me what's happening right now. You're indifferent, almost lethargic. I'm not going to work with Sapronov. Why is that? Because, for personal reasons. Or is this another excuse? I had enough of this already, do you hear me? Why are you interfering with my life? You're a realtor. I'm an old actor, that's it. But you're the one doing the acting nowadays. Got it. Are you crazy? Are you okay? I'm okay. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on, I got you. <sighs> Are you here to insult me? No, forgive me please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I came to tell you everything. Okay, let's hear it. Promise. I promise you, you'll turn he was the world handsome. upside down. You're going to be famous. He was. A lady's favorite. He broke my nose. I can't believe it. I was in love. Madly in love. With his assistant. She was beautiful. I tried to get her attention. She turned me down. It was rough. And there she was in the trailer, talking to Bovenko. I freaked out. Did you fight with him? It was worse. I convinced his wife, Yulia, to play the main role in Sunny Days. Bovenko was my Achilles heel. He talked to every woman. Yulia took revenge on him. With me. So then he broke your nose, right? He broke my nose. And I ended his career. And this assistant? Where is she? She wasn't good for this industry. Well, that's cruel. So are you going to let Bovenko come back? If he understands that Igor Sepanov is in charge, and Bovenko is no one, 
So tell me, didn't you fight back? Didn't you prove yourself? Well, of course I fought. I was in charge of my career at that time. I had a son to support. This girl is an assistant, right? Did you have something? No, of course not. She came to my trailer and cried because Sapronov wouldn't leave her alone. She loved you, huh? I don't know. I loved Yulia then. I didn't need anyone else. You know what? Let's go. Where to? To see Sapronov look into his face and tell him you're better than him. That you didn't give up. Fight for yourself. What, right now? Yes, right now. No. Let's change clothes. Good idea. <laughs> You're stubborn, Svetolev Koyeva. Hello. We are here for Igor Sapanov. Do you have an appointment? Yes, do you need to make sure? No, no, come in. Thanks. Let me go by myself. This is my problem. Pranov. Is he an actor? Yes, yes. What was he in? Have you seen the movie Sunny Days? Hmm. He filmed it 15 years ago. Got it. Well, I see then. So I've heard. You are not in the movies. Yes? You broke my nose, remember? Do you remember before? The girls following you, chasing you. I was insane. No. Nope. I don't. And Nastya? The assistant? She worked with us on sunny days. Remember? I'll wait there, in the hallway. Whatever you prefer. Who is she? No idea. Came with the actor, Bovenko. Have you heard of him? Of course. Are they together? Of course. They seem to be very close. Of course, I remember Nastya very well. When she ran to my trailer, to hide from an unwanted producer like yourself, who wouldn't give up and let go. By the way, how is your nose? Hmm? Does it hurt in the cold? That's really nice. To see a star of this magnitude in our humble office. I love your acting, especially on sunny days. Will you introduce me, Igor? This is, this is Alice. She's my producer. Nice to meet you. Artem. So are you auditioning today? Well, actually, I was discussing an issue with Igor Sopranov. Well, I have a meeting with Igor in about half an hour to review a new script. You should totally join us on this meeting. What? Right now? Why wait? Right, Igor Sopranov? Artem Bovenko. Join us in the meeting to discuss ideas and some creative changes to our script. Nice to meet you. Likewise. What are you doing? 
You're very rude, Igor. Very rude. Life hasn't taught you anything. You need to act with him differently, you know? Persuade him. Surprise him. When he's not expecting... Well, shall we go? Yes, of course. Let me introduce Svetlana, my friend. What a surprise. Svetlana, nice to see you. Come with us. Filming is so exciting. Guys, get up. Hello? Vitaly. Hello, Mr. Igor Sepronov. Reading the script. Alice Mikhailovna. Yes, we're working on it. With no breaks, just working hard. That's how we train the younger generation. I see that. We wanted to give Artem a chance. Do you have a suitable role for him? <sighs> Boy. Let me see. You go right here. Stand there, that's your mark. Artem, here's the script. That's your mark. Go there? Yes, yes. You're a womanizer. A cheater. Like, you know, a ladies' man. A heartbreaker. You could say a pathological liar. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Shall we start the scene right now, sir? Of course. Let's start. Look at me in the eyes. Were you with her? Are you lying to me again? Leo, do you have any idea how much this hurts? I'm just trying. Right now... I'm just... So who are you? Don't hesitate. Tell her the whole truth. Leader in the scene. I'm sorry, can I do it again? Yes, yes. When will you stop whining? It's sickening to watch. <clears throat> yes, I'm like this. I have a great future ahead of me. And people like you... Girls like you, I'll have plenty, hundreds, um, if not thousands. And cut. That's enough, isn't it? You darling, get back over there. In my opinion, it was good. All you need is to get more nuances. What do you think? Yes, yes. Some... more nuances. You see, the director agrees with me. Let's go... one more time. As hard as you can. You're a jerk. A moral freak. You don't care about anyone. Remember? Now let's do it again. So... Artem. 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 Artem, wait please. What? What are you doing? Don't you realize he's doing this on purpose? Don't you get it? What? That I looked like an idiot right now. Like a fool in front Not of everyone. true, stop it. And next time, you'll do better. Listen. This is just a role. There will be no next time. This was enough already. Damn it, that guy. Are you going to give up? Yes. Just like that, I'm giving up. Screw it. That's enough. And you're right. That's enough. You're weak. Aren't you? So sit on the corner and be mad. I'm tired of this. I've had enough. Sveta.
You're no good, Igor. Well done. You know where to hit. Yes, I do. You put him in his place, in front of everyone. It went well. A lot of people consider him a womanizer. On the other hand, though, fans love the idols of their youth. It's a global trend. What are you trying to say? Look at the opportunity. We can make money here. Don't you like that? Any ideas? Of course. Let's discuss it over dinner. My darling, is that an invitation or did you get stood up by someone? I saw you were crazy for Artem's friend. I didn't get stood up. It's not evening yet. We're having a school concert soon. I'm going to perform a song. That's great. I'm also being expelled for missing class. Yes. Vavka and I went to the movies the whole week. This is good. Mom, did you even hear what, what? I said? Oh, sorry. Let me guess, you were did saying... he let you down again? You know, Mom, he may be a star, but he's human. Even stars don't get to be moody. Baby, he's... He's not moody. He just doesn't believe in himself. You know what? He has his own life, and we have ours. Are you sure? I'm not sure. But as my favorite character says, tomorrow is another day. Scarlet O'Hara. Scarlet O'Hara. Now go home and take a shower. I'll be right there. Yes. Artem, hi. This is Alice, remember me? Yes. As my womanizer character would say, it's impossible to forget a woman like you. You're funny. I try to be. But that's not what I meant. I've got a role for you. Really? Why so surprised? A good friend of mine is looking for an experienced 40-year-old actor for the lead role in a project. Want to try? I've already tried it, thanks, but you know that. Believe me when I say, it's the perfect role for you. I promise your audition won't have crowds or cameras. So, what do you say? Thanks a lot, Alice, but I'm not interested. Wish you the best. What a character. I love it. It. Enough of being a star. Alice, I think it's really flattering that your company... Hello, Artem. Vika? I wanted to ask you for help. Will you help me? Well, I'll help you in any way I can. I've got a performance tomorrow. I'm preparing something. But guess what? It's not working. Will you help me? You're an actor. Well, Vika, I was an actor. I'm not anymore. Why don't your mom help you out? She loves these things. Mom's busy working? This is a very important concert. There's a big chance I'm going to ruin it. Can you help me? Well, I'll help you. That's great. I'm waiting for you tonight. Don't let me down. Hey, wait, Vika. This girl is impossible. No, there's another chord. This is the first chord. Got it. Okay, let's go. Well, I can't do this chord, that's hard. I'll tell you why it's not working, because you're holding down here, see? One finger in two strings, it's tough. 
you pick up a new string with each finger. Look what it sounds like. Woo! Now listen, you have a hedgehog in your pocket. It's not every day you see a hedgehog in your pocket. Well, yeah. Think about it. It would move in your pocket when you say so? I think so. There you go, you're getting it right. Sounds amazing. Hello? Vika called me and asked me for help with her performance. Did you tell your mom about this? No. Well, would you like to have dinner? Sorry, adults. I have school tomorrow and the homeworks won't do themselves. Go ahead. Hey. Sweetie. Here. Here. Good. A hedgehog? Hedgehog. Yeah. Very tasty dinner. You like it? Good. Tastes great. It's homemade. Yes, it is. She asked me to help her tomorrow at the concert. Do you mind that? I don't mind it. Just don't let her down. I won't. Do you have such a bad opinion of me? I don't know. When I think about you, Artem... Wait, I'll help you. No. Here, I got what? this. Let me help you. Let Don't me help, help you. me like that. Mm -hmm. I won't let you down. Mm -hmm. Good night. The next performer on today's concert chose the song Dialogue. Please welcome our fourth grade student, Victoria Levkoyeva. Go ahead, sweetie. But the hedgehog didn't fit into my pocket. Great pictures? Yes. Is she sleeping? Oh yeah, she fell asleep fast with a smile on her face. Thank you so much. For what? For not letting her down. Can you imagine my nurse today? First performance in 10 years. 
That's right. So... I had butterflies in my stomach all day. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine it. I'm very happy. Sopranov. What? Why? Why is he calling so late? I don't know. I see. You have a story together. Artem, don't be a kid. It's nothing. Is this a recent story? Well, first of all, we're not together. There's no story. I went out with him for dinner. Where to? To a restaurant. So what happened after dinner? Stop it. Are you afraid to tell the truth? No, I went to get you an audition. That's it. Did you ask me if I needed help? Did you? So you went out for dinner with Safranov because of me. I trusted you so much. And you are like Yulia. That's enough for me. Girls, I'll be right back. Artem. Hello. Hello. I can see. It wasn't a good day. It's not a good life. Maybe it's not the time, but I wanted to say that my offer still stands. What's the offer? Play a role in a new series. The director is a very good friend, and I think he would love the opportunity to work with you. I'm not working with Soprono. Don't worry about that. This series is not produced by him. That's why my offer is strictly confidential. Are you cheating on your partner? What should a poor girl do? How else can you make money in this industry? Why do you want me? I would just love to have you on my team. An actor of your caliber. When you enter the frame, your charisma does everything else for you. It really does. Really? You remind me of Anthony Hopkins, you know? Oh. He manages to draw everyone's attention. It's unique. Do you know what I mean? It's impossible to look away from him. Get it? I get it. This is what I call true male charisma. It's hard to find, but you have it. It makes you unique as well. Artem, should we go somewhere else? Where to? What difference does it make? Somewhere quiet, warm and cozy? Shall we pay? Let's go. is off or out of the network's coverage area.
Hello, Sveta, right? Yes. So, are you here to see Artem? He's still fast asleep. It's been a long night. Okay. Do you get it? I get it. Sorry to bother you so early. Is there anything else? No, no. Nothing else. Goodbye. Artem. Artem. Uh, Artem. Yes. <laughs> Artem. What? <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> it's time for your audition. <laughs> What audition? Honey, we made a deal yesterday. I've already called Gosha Malevsky, and he's waiting for you pretty soon. I don't remember anything at all. It's okay. We'll talk again now that you're sober. There's plenty of time for that. I'm taking a shower. If that's okay for you. Mm. Mommy, are you all right? Yes, baby. I was just cutting an onion. An onion? That spinach? It doesn't sting. Oh, yeah. Cut yourself? Mm -hmm. I'll get a Band-Aid. Hi, nice to meet you. I've seen a few of your projects. You did a lot of great shows and movies in the past. Hats off. Alice said you took a long break from work, right? Yes, it's true. This will actually help you today. You'll understand your character even better. The thing is that he was a former star. A musician, a singer, who everyone has long forgotten about to whom fate has given a second chance. I think the parallels are obvious. That's for sure. That's great. Are you ready? Let me read the lines. Let's go. Okay, shall we begin? Here's the boat. You sit down, you sit down here on the boat. There's a hat for you over there. You can wear it if you want. Yes, for sure. <clears throat> Well, are you ready? Yes, yes. An action. To be honest. If. <coughs> Excuse me, can I have some water? Of course. Thanks. Can we go on? Yes, of course. Can I take the hat off? Yes, of course. <clears throat> it's beautiful. Let's go. To be honest, I'm really tired. Yes, I'm in my 40s, but I can still do a lot of things, you know? I believe you. Let's go to bed. You know you'll lie down, and I'll just sit there next to you. That's good. Do you want me to sing? Go on. 
Excuse me, but can I sing? Yes, go ahead. I used to sing this song with my son. Я сегодня лягу раньше, раньше лампу погашу, но зато тебя пораньше разбудить меня прошу. Ты поставь на стол варить, я проснусь в одно мгновение, я проснусь в одно мгновение, чтобы чай с вареньем пить. And cut. This is exactly what I need. That was good. Guys, it was really great. It will 100% fit into the picture. Good job. Are you serious? Yes, I am. We've got him hooked. He signed the deal. He'll lay golden eggs for you. I hope he doesn't have his own lawyer. I think he's his own lawyer, his own agent. Won't he leave? No. And the director is absolutely thrilled with Bovenko, by the way. This temporarily faded star will save us money. He's a lot cheaper nowadays. That's great. It would be nice if you could arrange for him to be a guest in a talk show. You know, fans seeing their idol again. My idol, too. I can see that. It's obvious. Igor, jealousy isn't your style. You know, I did some research on your ex, Nastya Spiridova, asked around, made some calls. Do you not know where she is? No idea. I found out. Where is she? She's buried at North Cemetery. Died four years ago? Alcohol abuse. So that's where she is. That was her fate. You did love her a lot, didn't you? Tell me, what are you willing to do to someone you hate, Igor Sopranov? 